Are we ready? Three, two, one. Wow, no way. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, I am back again with yet another wish video. I actually feel like I haven't posted a wish related video in literally so long. If you guys remember the last time I posted a video, comment down below when that was because I feel like it's been forever. Now for today's video, I thought I would switch it up just a little bit and today I'm actually going to be doing a video testing out some fake designer bags from Wish. Recently, I've just found myself scrolling through Wish thinking what is the next video I'm going to film and honestly I was like do I film another extra haul do I film a weird shoe video I honestly didn't really know and I actually kind of stumbled across one Louis Vuitton bag and I was like hang on a minute they do quite good fake designer things right now and that one item kind of led me down this rabbit hole of literally just seeing so many fake designer items and I was like do you know what I need to do a video on this so today's video is dedicated all to fake designer bags from Wish and I'm really excited to see what I got now usually in the past the fake designer bags I used to get for videos like this were always very affordable. They were like 10 pounds, maybe 15 pounds at most. And to be honest, some of them were okay, but they were never like amazing. So I thought today I would do a little bit of a different version of that. So for today's video, I thought I would switch it up and actually buy some more expensive bags from Wish just to see if you actually get more for your money on Wish. Obviously the prices that I spent on these bags is nothing compared to the original thing still. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around and make sure you guys subscribe down below. Also, if you guys haven't seen my previous fake designer videos, I'll link a whole playlist in the eye right there as well as the description. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right, so the very first bag that I purchased from Wish was this one. Now this is the one that literally showed up for me so often and that's kind of the bag that started this whole video. Now, as you guys can see, this bag cost me 43 pounds. Now in the grand scheme of things, I feel like that's not expensive for a good quality bag. However, that's just it. We don't know if it's gonna be good quality. But also when I think of fake designer items, usually the prices are quite high just because they're trying to imitate like the real designer item. And obviously real designer items cost a lot of money. So this is the original that this is kind of a remake of. Now, if you guys compare the photos, I mean, they look pretty similar. However, the original cost $3,495. I'm sorry, but that is ridiculous and I would literally never spend that on a bag. So I'm really hoping this is gonna be good because I really love the design. By the way, the original Louis Vuitton bag is called, now I'm gonna probably butcher this, but it's called Empreinte Monogram Giant On The Go Cream Bag. So from feeling this up, I'm pretty sure this is it. So let's crack it open together and see how it looks. Okay, I'm so scared. Okay, let's do this. What? Oh my God. That is so nice. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. Now I have to say, I'm not particularly sure how close in like size this is to the original because obviously I don't have the original, but looking at the photo of the original, it is so damn close. Like the lettering, the color, everything about it. I mean, look at it. Right off the bat, the thing I can kind of see the difference in the design is that this one here in the original is like almost cut off. So it's like the whole design has been lowered. But I mean, at a first glance, you would never be able to tell that this is a fake. Honestly, it feels such good quality. It actually feels quite sturdy and heavy, which I'm really surprised about. I haven't ordered any fake designer things or just anything in general from Wish in a hot minute. So I'm actually really surprised by this. Let's take a look on the inside. No way. No actual way. On the inside, it's red. And on every single part of like the gold hardware, it has a LV engraved into it. What? I mean, usually when I bought things like this from Wish, they've never gone this far as like actually indenting the logos on the hardware. So you can tell this is a pretty good replica just from that. Even on the little zipper in there, it literally says LV. That is so good. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but it's also got like the little brown Louis Vuitton tag inside. 
it literally looks legit. It also comes with a long strap, which actually feels quite decent quality. It doesn't feel too cheap. So this is how the bag looks on the long strap. In all honesty, I don't really like the long strap. I feel like it lets the bag down just a little bit. I think I much rather prefer the shape and like holding it just by the handles. But I have to say, I'm very impressed overall with this bag. It looks nice. It looks just like the real thing. And it was only 43 pounds compared to like three grand. So yeah, I feel like we're really off to a good start here. I'm gonna give this like a nice out of 10. All right guys, so the next bag I'm really, really excited to open up and see what it's really like is this one right here that I saw on Wish. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with this bag. I'm seeing this bag on literally every Instagram account right now. Everyone and their mum is loving it. I'm not gonna lie though, I literally cannot pronounce this designer's name. So I'm literally gonna have to YouTube how to say it first. YouTube, teach me how to say this word. So how do you go about pronouncing this with a typical French pronunciation? I see videos here on YouTube that simply butcher his name so we need to get things right how do you go about pronouncing this with the typical french pronunciation jacquemus jacquemus of course in french the sound of the letter u is not u but rather u so jacquemus jacquemus okay so this bag is by the designer who is french called jacquemus i hope i'm saying that right and this bag was actually fairly cheap it was only 14 pounds 25 and then eight pounds shipping on top so as much as i don't have high hopes because it was more on the affordable side i am really interested to see how they would have made it let me see how much this original bag is though because i feel like they are expensive and they are literally so tiny oh my god okay so they are expensive but they're not as expensive as I thought. So the original bags are 385 pounds roughly. But still, when you think about how tiny that bag is, it is actually still a crazy price considering all you can fit in it is like a debit card. Anyways, I have given in into the temptation and I have ordered the fake one. I'm sorry, but ain't nobody spending 385 pounds on a bag this small. So here it is, are we ready? Whoa, that looks so real. Oh my goodness, hang on. There's only one handle. Is that how they usually are? Oh wow, they do actually only have one handle. I never even thought of that. So as you guys can see, this is it. It is absolutely tiny. Like just to, just to compare, I've got an iPhone 12 Max Pro, I think. So it is the biggest one and look at that. That is literally tiny. At a first glance, I'm really liking this bag. I think it looks really cute. It's very diddy. And to be honest, looking at it, it looks very similar to the original. Even the lettering, I mean, they're kind of not in the exact same position of the like bottom of the bag. The original's lettering is more like in this corner here, but the actual lettering is pretty spot on. It's like the same size, the actual layout and design of the bag is pretty much identical. The only thing that's different really is the actual like pattern of the crocodile, fake crocodile design. But I feel like that would be the case with every single bag. Obviously they're not gonna have the exact same like pattern and um, indentations of the crocodile fabric. Another thing I have noticed is that these parts here, like where the actual handle attaches to the bag, they're slightly more pointed on the original one and the these are a bit more rounded. But apart from that, the actual shape, the way it kind of like tapers in at the top, everything is so spot on. I guess let's just open this now and see what the strap situation is like. It is so tiny in there, honestly. What would you even fit? I mean, maybe you could fit a few pennies in there, but honestly, like, <laughs> who is this bag for? Okay, so here's the bag on the strap. And as you guys can see, it kind of like leans a little bit forward. I don't know if that's the case with the original. If anyone has this bag, like the original version, let me know if your bag does this, where it kind of like leans forward. I guess it's kind of like top heavy because of the strap. But yeah, I think it looks really cute. I kind of have noticed that the flap of the bag is a little bit uneven. But again, it's not really the end of the world. I actually really like this bag and I think it's such a close replica considering it was only 15 pounds. Honestly, as far as replicas of bags go, I would say this is pretty up there. So I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. Okay, this next bag I am so freaking excited for because if this is good, it will literally make my dreams come true. I've always wanted to buy a bag like this. Honestly, if Louis Vuitton ever did vegan leather, I probably would buy this bag because I love it that much. However, it is very expensive. The bag in question is this one right here. It's called the Lockie BB and I just love it. Everything about it is perfect. Now the replica of this bag from Wish cost me 77 pounds, which is not cheap by any means for a bag. However, I'm hoping because I spent a little bit more money on it, hopefully the quality will be more decent and maybe 
it will look like the original. Okay, I've got it right here. I'm so nervous because if this isn't like the photo and it doesn't really look like the original, then I would have literally wasted 70 pounds. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Wow, are we seeing this? It's beautiful. Wow, I am so shook at how nice this is. Whoa, hang on. The actual pattern, it goes round, like upside down. That's like what the real bags do. You can always tell a fake if the Louis Vuitton print is the right way around on both sides. But in the original, the pattern continues up the back and that's why it's upside down. On the little lock clasp, it says LV, it's all engraved. This is amazing. It feels so nice, even though it's fake leather. Okay, let's open it up, see what it's like inside. Look at this, this is so nice. It's like faux suede. I can definitely tell it's not real suede, but it feels really nice. And then it has the little label. Can you guys see that? It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. Definitely wasn't. To be honest, I'm never ever gonna use the long straps for most of these bags just because I actually prefer having a handheld bag rather than a crossbody. Honestly, there is nothing off about this bag. Like looking at this compared to the photo, it looks almost exact. Isn't it just crazy that this bag cost me 70 pounds when I could have been ripped off at Louis Vuitton for like a grand? I love this. I'm giving this an 11 out of 10. This is my new favorite bag. All right, so moving on, I've got the next bag right here. And honestly, I don't even know what this is. So let's open it together and see what's inside. Wow. Look at this. Oh my God, this is so pretty. So this is meant to be a Dior replica and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I just checked on my wish and I actually can't believe how much I paid for this. This was only 17 pounds with eight pound shipping. That is actually really good. The quality of this is literally insane for 17 pounds. That is actually so good. So this is what the bag looks like. It's kind of like semi quilted. Now I'm just looking on Google to see what this is meant to be a replica of, like what's the original bag. And the only one that I can find that's kind of similar to it from Dior is the Dior Addict leather handbag. And as you guys can see, it is slightly different because it actually has a clasp on the front, whereas this one doesn't. I've tried to find the original of this bag and I literally can't find it anywhere. I don't know if it even exists. But as you guys can see, it just says Dior in like silver lettering on the front. And then the opening is just literally this flap opening up like this. And then it's got like two magnets on either side. Okay, on the inside, it's pretty basic. It's just a two compartment black sort of lining. But from the front, I won't lie, it really does look expensive and it does actually look like a real Dior bag. Let me know if this bag exists. If anyone has ever seen it or heard of it or what it's called, comment down below because I would actually really like to know if this is a replica of a real bag that exists. I mean, I love this. I think it's pretty decent quality. It looks really expensive when it really wasn't. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Okay, so the next bag I have right here and I can tell already by the shape what bag this is. So the wish listing is right here. Now again, this is a very on-trend bag that is supposed to be a replica of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. This bag is so on-trend again. Everyone is wearing it on Instagram. I I absolutely love how like the shape is very different. But again, I don't really like to splurge money on bags. So I thought I would get it from Wish just to see what it's like and see if I even like it. So just for price comparison, the one from Wish cost me 20 pounds with nine pounds shipping. So in total 29 pounds and the original costs 1,450 pounds. So quite the difference. Okay, so here it is. <gasps> wow, look at it. It is perfect. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. They even got like the hardware on top, almost spot on. Okay, at a first glance, that is the Balenciaga bag. Like you would not tell that this is a fake. Let's kind of dissect further. I'm gonna look at the picture of the original just to kind of compare. The first thing that I noticed that's different is definitely the color of the B. So on this particular bag, the white croc version, the B and the hardware isn't gold, it's actually silver. Whereas on the replica, as you guys can see, it's gold, which I much rather prefer because as I just said, I prefer gold hardware on bags. But wow, like the resemblance is uncanny. I love it. Like the stitching, the shape of it is almost exact. However, 
I do have to say that this one is a little bit more flat than the original bag. The original bag has like this super extreme curve right at the bottom. This one has it slightly, but not quite as much. I mean, the inside is probably very different on the original bag to this one. This does have a zipper across the front, but it's pretty basic on the inside. To be honest, I don't really mind that because when I have a nice bag, I only really care about what it looks like on the outside. So this is what it looks like on the long strap. But again, I probably am just gonna hold it like this. Do you know what, for 29 pounds, I'm actually really, really happy with it. Although it's not exactly the same, I still really like it as a standalone bag and I actually needed a white bag anyway, so this is perfect. In terms of similarity to the original, it's not exact. Some of the other bags in this video were definitely closer, so I'm gonna have to give this like an eight out of 10. And now the very last bag I have is this one here. Now the original of this bag is this one. And again, you guys know I love Louis Vuitton bags. I just love the pattern. I love the color. I love the style, everything about it. And again, this is another bag that I've really, really wanted for a long time. So I'm really excited to see what this is like. Just so you guys know, this is the bag on the original Louis Vuitton website. And this costs 745 pounds, which again is very expensive for a bag. However, it's probably one of the cheapest bags from Louis Vuitton that you can get. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. This is so cool. And again, they've done it upside down on the back. That looks so real. Oh my gosh, it even has the Louis Vuitton engraved on this tiny little button. It's all about the details, okay? Okay, I'm looking at the original and I can definitely tell the difference quite quickly. Again, it's the same story. The design has almost been like shifted lower than the original. The actual Louis Vuitton logo on the real thing is like here and here, whereas on the replica, it's like here and the button is kind of covering it up. To be honest, that does not really throw me off at all because I'm not really looking for that. Because the pattern is quite busy and there's so many of the different like designs, I feel like you can't really tell. The actual size and shape feels really, really nice. It actually is very similar to the original size. It then has the gold chain strap. As you guys know, I prefer my gold hardware. Let's take a peek on the inside. It's red. Hang on. Is it red on the original? I think it is. Oh my God, it is. So this fabric is kind of like faux suede, whereas the original, I think is actually the canvas. It's like a red canvas on the inside. Wait, what else have we got in here? Whoa, it came with like its own little wallet thing that is so cool and then on the inside it has all these whoa it's got more <laughs> look it's got um a red louis vuitton card holder i don't even know this thing existed this is so cool it comes with its own little pouch it comes with a card holder it's red on the inside and it almost looks exactly the same on the outside. All right guys, so that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this slightly different video. I thought I would do another wish one because I haven't done one in a long time. I am so excited about all these bags. I'm so glad I purchased them and I'm really impressed with every single one, which is very rare. I think my favorite two out of this whole video are definitely these two. I just think they look so similar to the original thing. Let me know which one of these was your favorite and which one did you like the best? Which one did you think looked the closest to the original as well. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe as well. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and being here and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.